morning YouTubers. What's this, take two? <laughs> yes, that's take two. As soon as you hit record, the fan cut out in the furnace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is only about 10 feet away from the top of your, your yeah. noggin there. <laughs> yeah, right up there from my noggin. Anyway, we got a couple of packages showing up. That's one of them. Looks like a toilet seat cover. It does. Hey. It's a bit soft, though. Could this be a is, soft one. Oh, yeah. Well, this is related to the DJI Mavic Pro. The Ooh. DJI Mavic Pro um, really don't have any landing skids. What it's got is these two little feet up front that comes down from the, from the blade arms or from the prop arms. And uh, they're only in the front. And that's to keep the camera up off the ground when it do land. That being said, every time I go flying, I usually bring a piece of cardboard or something to lay down, especially if it's in a dusty area so the uh, aircraft don't fix, you know, don't pick up dust around the motors yeah, and stuff. So. Point, I never thought about that. Oh good. yeah, I oh, approval. Okay. So I don't know if anybody can tell where this is from, but this is definitely, definitely from China because they must have an abundance of yellow tape. Well, they usually tie stuff up. Yeah, and they usually tie up the string. Yeah, yeah string. Yeah. yeah, I always recognize it. So this is this is a landing pad. I know what it is before I even open it. And we bought it off Flea Bay. We paid twenty five bucks for it. Mm, yeah, something in that area. Twenty five bucks free shipping. That's twenty five bucks U.S. So that's eighteen thousand dollars Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know what it's going to look like. I know what it looked like on the picture. Well, that's right. Sometimes it don't always look like the picture when you get it. Comes with a little bag. Mm -hmm. Kind of cute. There you go. I guess there must be some way of opening said bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's neat, yeah. That's cool. And it's got another bag. <laughs> well. The topic gets this inch, it's only going to be about that big. It's like a box of the box of the box of the yeah, box. Yeah, isn't it? Right? So. Like those little stack, stackable dolls, the Russian dolls. Yeah, neat though, eh? It is neat. Yeah. I guess you can hang it on to your little uh, belt loop or whatever. Oh, well, yeah, you can. Because i got to carry a drone. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> it's actually good. It's, whoops. Oh, Whoa, look stuff. at this. Oh, that stuff. All kinds of stuff. So I didn't know there were stuffs in there. What's that? You know what they are? Hmm. They're pegs to hold it down like 10 pegs. Oh. So the wind from the drone don't. True, yes. I don't know yeah, what that is. Yeah, some kind of reflector of some sort. Board. So we'll lay that there. And we're going to have to. Go slow because <laughs> I'm going to have to rewind this to see how it goes back together. This will have to come up and beat the face off of me. Oh, look at that, eh? Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? I'll Looks better it. now, you can't see me. <laughs> and. Neat. So, yeah. And I guess how this goes, you can put these down in each corner mm -hmm. to hold it in place. Yeah. So, which is, which is pretty neat. Yeah. Now, I would have probably bought this in Canada, but for what they wanted for them at the hobby shops here in Canada, it was just as well to go pick up a, a space into the airport, um, into yeah. the international airport and rent it out. Yeah. Hey? Okay. That's amazing. I have no idea how I'm going to get it back. <laughs> We're going to have to practice that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, we're probably, we're probably going to have to rewind this. That's going to come up and slap the face off you. Well, oh, careful. I guess you could say I'm close. Oh, well. Not as neat as they did it. I know. But say they probably got one person in China trained to do this. Oh, okay, you're getting there. That's it. Let's cope with steady. And then you pop it up. It is a nice system though. Yeah, yeah. Don't take up a lot of room. And of course it goes in with the theme of the Mavic where it's mm -hmm. compact and yep. transportable. So I shouldn't have pushed my luck. Anyway, we'll leave that there. Yeah. 
now. For now. Anyway, uh, uh, Aerial Drone Accessories came out with this visor that I showed people in their other video. And I've been getting a lot of emails saying, well, you know, it's a prototype and it's uh, 3D printed, and, and it could be. And then people showed concern of uh, people show concern of the uh, thing being scratched, scratching the, the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Well, there's really only two contact points, and it's right here and right here, which means that it's going to be just on the end of the phone. And I mean, this phone has been in, that, in and out that visor, I'd say, 20 or 30 times already. Do you see a scratch? No. Nothing, eh? No. So, I think probably what's going on is people are probably a bit nervous. Now, there's nothing down here in regards of uh, protection, but you could also, if, if it bothered you, you could also take a bit of, uh, what I plan on using, I use it quite a lot for different projects, is uh, that hook and loop, oh, yeah. Velcro, mm -hmm. and just use the, uh, you know, the soft side yeah, exactly. and put a strip down there. But really, it's, it's so good that when you look down, it's not even touching the bottom of the phone. Oh, no, look at that, it's not. Right, so I think probably there's a little bit of panic or concern yeah. that maybe yeah, they're going to come out with a, uh, a blow molded type of case later on and not the 3D printed type. This, this seems very strong to me. I, 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 you know, I have no, appreh no apprehension about it at all. It, to me, it's as good as it's going to get. So, it's up to you folks. You guys, you guys got to use your own judgment. And by the way, uh, Aerial Drone Accessories do now have one designed for a tablet. Before this, there was no other way to, to uh, attach a tablet to the Mavic Pro controller. Now there is. So I'm going to put the link for their site on the, uh, in the description down below, or up above, wherever you'll find it. And just click on it and they do have a video as well so uh, just tell them Paul sent you uh, there's nothing in this Ross is it don't even know the people no but I just I just like the product and I think it's a, a innovative and I think they're a step ahead of the rest and I, and I like it so and there's lots of products here we'll display whether it be tools or vehicle accessories and stuff that we'll show that we don't get paid for it's just Something yeah. we like to share with our viewers. So, just thought we'd throw that in. In the meantime, folks, we got an appointment coming. This is early in the morning now, right? Yeah, it's really early. So we got an appointment coming. It's quarter now. We got an appointment coming for nine o'clock. So I'm going to give myself 15 minutes without going out of my mind to fold this back up again. Okay. And get it all in the bag. Hmm. So, if I uh, don't end up using it for a uh, for a landing pad, I'll use it for fanning my lovely wife when it's really hot here. <laughs> hey, you'll be in the office and I'll be. Wow. Hey, cheaper than electric fans. Yeah. Hey. So, folks, you guys take care and we'll see you in the next video.